YouTube land, I have returned finally, and I'm back with my trusty vice and my picks, and oh, we can come back to some normal routine stuff hopefully soon. Oh, how have we been? Have we been okay? Let's make this a bit taller, let that down a little bit. There we go, alright. By the way, we have one today. Which has been lent to me by Jim Elwood. Lovely, lovely man, Mr. Jim Elwood. He's very kindly lent me this huge chunk of metal. Abbas 83CS-55 Rock. Ooh, cold lock, hot hands. Some wrinkly fingers just been doing the pots, but if she cooks, you wash. That's the rules. Anyway, she's lent this to me. I've been playing with her. Out of focus. There we go. I've been playing around, so I thought I'd get this one done on camera and have a bit of a chat with you guys. Well, I'll chat, you listen. Just what's been going on, what we've been doing, and my huge absence. It seems like years and years and years since I did a video, but I'll have to check back and see when the last time I actually did one. Oh, probably when I did the step by step make pick videos that everyone seemed to enjoy. I'm thinking of doing. A video quite soon of the whole process start to finish you know, the grind sand file that's file sand polish not the handle because you can do your own thing with that thing but try and do all of it in a real short video just to show that it can be done quite quickly anyway I was going to demonstrate I was going to demonstrate something people asking me about doing their own I got a <coughs> you to show. That is regular go so straight out the box with that yellow powder coating paint whatever you want to call it on there that just feels like crap and that is one that's just been skimmed with some sandpaper just roughly skimmed not polished not shaped you see it's all rough on the back and it's all pretty nasty. That is bent as fuck, isn't it? Look, look at that. It needs, a, needs to be straightened up a bit. Anyway, well, that's what this is what you can achieve. With a bit of TLC. It has been used quite a bit, so it's uh, it's got a few marks on it, but that's what you can get to. Just a regular go so, but they work really well if you take a bit of time on them. Like my music selection. Anyway, um, I won't be using this one. The key, oh, <coughs> key for the Abbas Rock is well, pretty harsh actually. Really low first cut. The rest of them are pretty simple, but that one tends to gain away a little bit, so I'll be using a, um, what do you call it, offset homebrew offset diamond, using one of them. Um, let's try, I'm sure she's, wait for the clunk on this thing, it shakes the table, it's a key retaining Nothing's keep it all locked it up. So I found this better with the bottom bottom tension. So she's all locked. And I found also with this one is to start at the back, which I very rarely do normally, but 
she seems to like it that way. Let's pick in first, and then tension, I found as well. Which is five. Two normally gives a false set, like that. Seems like a fluke, but it isn't. Oh, oh, oh. oh come on. Yeah, can you them? They're all in there. Do it again. You watch, I'll fuck it up now, I'll get cocky. Back. Tension. Five. Two for the false. Weird. Simple, but took me a few times to learn that anyway. But anyway. <sighs> there she is, the big Betsy. She's not uh, not all that challenging, but obviously if you didn't know lot picking, this thing would be quite a challenge to get into otherwise, you know, look at the fucking size of that thing. You know, you definitely ain't gonna shim it and you definitely uh, you're not gonna get the bolt croppers on it. If you get the angle grinder on it, it will take you a while. Yeah, it's a lovely bit of kit. I'm so glad that uh, Jim sent it to me so I could have a play. So Jim, if you're watching, I'll uh, I'll abuse her a little bit more and then uh, I'll send it back to you with a a thank you gift, a little extra something in there just to say cheers because you know, it's an expensive bit of kit this. I had a look online and they're about, well best part of 50 quid to buy one of these. Unless someone finds it cheaper but I quickly had a look. And uh, yeah it's a big wedge of money to lend out. But yeah, thank you very much Jim. Very pleased with that. It's a cool lock, very cool. Oh, what else is there? think about just where have I been just been busy been busy being a dad that's it been changing backsides and bathing feeding mucking about playing dad stuff that just gets in the way of pick stuff and all that sort of gear so just starting to waffle on a bit now while I do a bit of general maintenance. This is one of my favourites actually, I'll show you this one. I like to try and keep her reasonably clean. This is a quite a tight little uh, tight little gem. So if you ever want to make a little pick yourself, try one of them. A tight, tiny little gem. You know, quite a short one. Ever so small, but works well though. Quite nice to use. What else I've got? Show you. Got some of these, I've been using quite a few of these recently. The old uh, tension wire. Tension wire. What the fuck am I talking about? Piano wire, tension tools. Been using quite a few of these recently. So you can shape these to, you know, whatever you want really. When you get it just right, they'll sit in there. Actually fits in quite well in this. I'll show you, it fits quite well in here. If you're picking from the bottom, at top of the keyway, sorry. If you're picking that way, you see me? Can you see me? Yeah. That, you can get that wedged in there and you can control either way. You've got complete control over the uh, over the plug good stuff very very good right what else I've got to talk about really oh I was going to show you my uh, thingy my, my vapey box this is what I've been starting in, well starting to do this is what I do now rather than smoking this is my way of Quitting the fags. I've quit now since 
December 2013, last time I had a cigarette. And obviously but now because I've got a daughter, that's the main reason. So this is, I thought of a cool idea to close my videos off. You got the uh, theatrical fog. This is a an e-cigarette taken to the extreme. So I'll show you. Keep an eye on the lock. Oh, where did it go? Look at that, it's like a thriller video. Cool, do it from the side. Dude. Anyway, I'm gonna go now, boys and girls. I will be back soon. I'm gonna try and do a few more of these. Keep you updated on bits and bobs that I've been up to. But, sorry for the, uh, the disappearing act. Um, hopefully be able to show you my new pick line soon. But uh, I know everyone is asking me for picks and I'm making everyone wait for years and years and years and years and years. But these things take time and I want to get them right. And I want people to uh, to love them when they get them. So sorry for making you wait, but yeah, all good things and all that. So cheers guys, I will see you soon.